Hey guys! They're our friends now. Of course, the problem is, if one of us... If we send Shay free, she's going to have to leave her friends behind. Something to think about, you know? Oh hey, there's the Essence, and there's the Dissidents. So many people who are maybe buddies, maybe not. Do a quick swoop. There's the Tempers, how's it going? Alright, we got a couple different landing spots. The Titan here is Zuluvius Horse-Headed. A lot of people don't actually believe that the Titans were actually around. But they were. This is not a sculpture, this was a giant fire horse. Anyway, we can land at the Black Shore, which Pamitha thinks we can pursue our vocations there. Or at High Wind Cove, Sir Gilman thinks there's something valuable. What do you guys think? What would be a good landing point? I'll just kind of circle. I'm in a holding pattern. Playing High Wind Cove, and I don't think I have that many viewers this time. I'd be sad, but eh. Some of you are busy, some of you don't want this game spoiled. I completely understand. We will land at High Wind Cove. Alright. Beyonder Crystal seeks Tizo. Now I know this is going to be one of the harder challenges to deal with. Alright. Some info on Black Basin. Uh, it has lots of tectonic activity, which we already knew. And it was only thanks to Loose Glory and relying on the stars that they were able to actually make it out of here. Just info, that's all. Hello! You seem like a safe person to talk to. And again, I'll try to keep in mind you guys don't read as quickly as I do and slow down a bit. Hey, we're doing- we're ahead of the game. So it's not actually Sandra who says that we can do the trials, it's the crystal itself, which... weird. Okay. Alright. Let's do this, Tizo. Tizo the challenge is one of the harder ones in the game, I think. So we shall do our best, I suppose. He's ready. He is so ready. Ugh. Excuse me. Alright. On this one we'll have to play very cautious and defensive. Hi, Sandra. He's ready. It's Tizo time, and that's three savages by the looks of it. I'm already good at this game. To be fair, I didn't have all my hands on the keyboard. I really should be doing that. Nope. Ooh, the trickery! Did you see that trickery? These guys are fast! There we go. 
just got to be careful. We also have to score more times than usual in this fight. Nope. I got flutters. Nope. Uh-oh, uh-oh. They're gonna speed right in. Okay. Got him, kinda. There we go. Just gotta be clever. I can be clever. I'm the cleverest giraffe in all of the nation. jumps. I should have been ready. I wasn't ready. Ha! There we go. I can do this. I'm not gonna lose this next right. This one's for all the potato chips. If I, yeah. if I had stopped him though, I could just jump into the moon side and basically have it guaranteed. Nope. Uh oh, uh oh. Nope. Oh, okay, they're taking that one. Or not! Just gotta be tactical and cautious. Yes! First try. I'm good at this game. I am good at this game, and so is Tito. You get this entire huge circle all for yourself, little guy. Yay! Yay! Let's see what cool thingamajig he gets. Because every time you do one of these, you get a cool thingamajig. Are you ready for the cool thingamajig? Thingamajig is a fun word. Excuse me. The Hobbs Wing. Less stamina cost. For uh, his abilities. That's really good, actually. I'll totally take that. Got, um, you can keep that. Look for stuff. Come on, Sir Gilman. Oh, we didn't find anything. Doing the vocations anyway. Very sad. What do you guys think? Should we still keep looking for stuff? Should we study in private, or should we mentor a companion? You know, what do you think? Either mentor or study, we don't want to look- Okay, study, we're studying. Alright. You're too slow. You're too slow! Okay, so we already have a point each of hope and quickness, so we could get a point of presence, or we could ramp up one of the ones we already have. What do you guys think? I'm good with basically anything, although I'm going to be a little worried about this upcoming right, because, again, in my first game, the only time I lost was to the withdrawn. And I've turned up the difficulty on this set, on this game too, which is why the Fate were actually able to defeat me. They're the second Triumvirate to ever defeat me in a right. This is going to be a fun game. 
We're gonna lose, and it's gonna be cool. Anyway, that's not really relevant to what's going on here. What's going on here, you guys? Which one do you think we should go with? Hope, quickness, or presence? Alright, everyone now has plus two quickness. Alright, gotta make our way to the nest of Triestra. Gotta honk the horn. Oh hey, it's a messenger imp! With news and rumors from the other side, specifically about Jodario. So, again, as a liberated exile, she was forgiven of all of her past transgressions, and she was going to be reinstalled on the blood border, but... Oh yeah, she would have been like Black Ops on the blood border. But she's like, no, no, we're not doing this. She is going to back up the plan. All you can tell is that it says await. You think she still has her horns? Tizo's pumped. <laughs> Everyone is pumped. And everyone gets a point of hope for the next right. Jodariel! This right's for you, Jodariel. Alright, we don't have money to spend on the black wagon. I'm not even gonna attempt it. Alright, so. Basically he's talking about, yeah, we fought the Titans, but I really don't want to dwell on that, because I want to deal with just, you know, our responsibility to help people go free. Also, we're going to learn about the Nest of Triesta. Which is basically, hey, she beat the... Titan Zilvia's horse headed and she thought she could make it into a nice place for herself. Not the best, but she's doing the best she can. Any dang freaking way. Let's commence us a right, hey? Ready, Tizo? Tizo is always ready. Get that Metroid Prime sound and music up in here. Metroid Prime is a good game. I don't know if you guys know that. You probably know that, because it's Metroid frickin' Prime, man. Hear me, you exiles of the Nightwings. Hi. The eight scribes summon you to the nest of Triesta. Your adversaries in the coming right shall be the withdrawn. Extinguish now their that horse is bleeding and magma. glory shall be yours. That is so metal. Now prepare yourselves. <laughs> we can take them. Okay, so. Who shall conduct? Let's take a look at Udvild's bio and also the fact that she has a frozen soul, which means our right hand, our pyre has already taken 20 damage. Nothing to worry about, am I right? Anyway, her crime was paganism because hey, let's revive Islock, let's revive Islock. And alleged motive, madness. This is one where it actually totally makes sense, honestly. Anyway, she's got a Greater Blast and a Hex of Defeat, so she deals extra damage while uh, her Empire has less than ours. Uh, Twilight Shard, bonus throw damage, faster zip, and uh, okay, so super dangerous Tizo. Okay, they have two really dangerous imps. 
what's our team gonna be to counter them? As before, the only people who are not yet at rank 3 are Pamatha and Sir Gilman. But I'm good with really whoever. We can call for Pamatha. I'm down for Pamatha. We're Your probably. Decision. My decision is Pamatha! Courage. Okay, um, who else? We got Hedwin, Rookie. Well, you know who we got. Who, who are we gonna have support Hannah? Wait, do they have moon signs? Do they have two characters with a moon sign? Okay, no, they don't have moon sign. They just are. shenanigans. Excuse me. Sir Gilman, I am totally okay with that. Electric. Sir Gilman. And who else? We got room for one more. Until running this as hard as they can. Having someone who can hold down the fort Go. over here might. I will stop interrupting you, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Seeing someone saying headwind, I'm down for that. Headwind, go. Very well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I swear I know what I'm doing, guys. Eh. Nope. Oh. An inauspicious start. And after something which thy narrow minds cannot conceive. Dude, I'm not gonna listen to you. Here to avenge you for Very glory! Real. I forgot I gave him avenging aid. Oh man, Sir Gilman is gonna do so much for us in this one. Haha, -ha, you fools! Everyone knows that a harp is invincible during her dash. I love to fly. Oh snap. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna get it in. The flame is stricken. Alright. It's okay, we can do this. Ooh, she did trickery, but she was careless in her trickery. No nope. wings have served her food. And that healed our pyre a little bit because of her talisman. Oh. The orb slips from your clutches. Quite mm -hmm. oh. the night wings. Unacceptable. Oh yeah, you can't body check the imps. Yes. That's okay. I just gotta be careful. Nope. Oh yeah, infinite stamina. Oh no. Oh, problems have occurred. A nearly negligible effort. Okay, okay. We can still do this. Still in it to win it. Good. And it oh. is done. The withdrawn prevails. 
like. A right conducted with a plum. Okay, so I'm I'm bad at the rights all of a sudden. The right is complete. Oh, that could have gone better. <laughs> okay. There is much to learn from this experience. That's okay, that happens sometimes. This is a game where you will lose. Honor is elusive, oh, Sir Gilman. Yet enlightenment is eternal. The forbidden dance of the Sea Dominion. Alright. Alright, so if Sir Gilman, if Sir Gilman and all his allies are banished, he instantly returns. After slashing, he can teleport back to where he was, or wider range on his slash. What do you guys think? Creatively, join it. And Pamitha also gains the master. Wings could speed us on toward greater understanding. So her options. Uh, swift flight. It's exactly what it sounds like. Fell swoop. She can cause an explosion as she is doing her R tackle. Or, if she is banished after she gets a kill with Winged Fury. A banish, not a kill, sorry. Uh, she gets double respawn speed. What do you guys think? All right. Until the next so everyone's at rank two of their masteries now, so we've got that going for us at least. We can probably win the next right, isn't that, isn't that right, guys? We only lost two games, we got more in us. Kronk fears nothing. Alright, we lost. Okay, where are we headed to next? Our options are... Still the Ridge of Gold, they really want that. The Pit of Milith. Or the Spring of Jomur. Uh, who all... Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll try not to forget to use it. So yeah, the Fate are still leading, but the Withdrawn are catching up for real. Um... So yeah, if we go to Milith, we will face the Chastity. Jomur will have the Essence. And the Pyre Hearts are at gold. What do you guys think? Here, let's get all three of them roughly sent. There we go. Here are your three options. Oh yes, as far as their standings. Uh, the Pyre Hearts are the lowest of the opponents we have to deal with, closely followed by the Chastity. The ones that are actually farther ahead are the Essence, although they did lose their last game. So, whichever one of those three you want to... Well, it depends on whether we win or lose. If the Triumvirate beats us, then they are slated to fight, face us in the uh, Liberation Rite, and if we beat them, then they're going to have less of a shot at it. Actually, a spouse chastity. They're more about... Uh, being in it for themselves. It's kind of a misnomer, it's very weird, but we'll totally take them on. Mostly because screw that guy. Yeah, they don't want to be free, they want to get rich. Born into wealth and lived in the lap of luxury, never having to fend for himself. So yeah, who, this sounds like exactly the kind of guy we should dunk. <laughs> he attempted to pay off the wrong individual. He's like, you know what? No, get down here. So he's trying to line up his duck so that he can get back into the Commonwealth, but on a higher ranking. Hey, Hedwin. Hmm. What's going down? Hmm. Below the Ashenda. Case of broken heart, huh? Ramigaf. <laughs> Hedwin misses his sweetheart. Her name was Fikani. Hey! 
Dukani Shang. Quarry? Hey, I happen to know your girlfriend. Also, there's not actually that many harps. Something, something protracted war with. Yeah, war, war sucks. So, what happened to Fikani? So, she's still probably alive and well. <laughs> so yeah, that's the deal with Hedwin. Like, not like his crime or anything, but now you know a little more about him. And yeah, if either of them gets back to the Commonwealth, then maybe she'll learn that Hedwin's still alive. So hey, that's something to think about. Any dang freaking way. Let's get a move on. Upsy daisy.